students, since our last video, I've taken the second shaft, I relabeled it shaft two by right clicking and renaming this file. Um, after you do that, you can uh, do the following. So I added this hole in here, and then I'm going to put a parallel spline to match up with this shaft. To do this section, what I did is I went over to shaft two and I opened it, which it opens it up in a separate part file, as you can see down here. So I've got the spline assembly and then I've got the shaft IPT. I then created this hole. I elected to use the hole tool. So what I did is I created a sketch. Once again, sketch on this front surface and I used the point center point tool and created a point center point in the center. I then finished the sketch and within my hole tool, which is up here, by the way, I created a 28 millimeter hole that goes all the way through the object and it's a simple hole. So after you create that feature, um, you can then save this work and close out of the shaft, the part file, and then we're going to add in the parallel spline here. So I need to go to, in my assembly, drawing my design tab, parallel splines. And what I'm going to do from here is add in the same features as my external spline. But when I do my selections, I'm gonna use this hub groove area. So six by 28 by 32. I believe in our last video, we had a 12 millimeter length. And we are going to hub groove. It's going to be this face. Reference two is going to be here. There it is. And then objects to generate, I think we're going to deselect this side because that's going to be the shaft groove side. We want it to be an internal hub groove. So this is now grayed out and this is still selected. I press OK a few times and that spline should appear. After we get this spline done, I'm then going to put an insert constraint and a mate constraint. And I'm going to let you figure that out. But an insert constraint and a single mate constraint should get these two things in alignment perfectly. Just like this, um, and the spline should be exactly fitted with one another. I'll post this to YouTube now. Thanks for watching.